Hello guys, Namaste. Today in this video let's talk about uh, writing the RMI program in advanced Java. Uh, there are a few things that you got to understand while uh, preparing or writing a Java program which I have listed here. First you need to create a remote interface and then you will have to implement the remote interface after the world you need to compile the implementation class and create a stop and escalator object using the rmic2 uh, start the registry service using rmic2 then create the remote application that is the server application and then create and start the uh, client application so uh, let's start our program first you need to create a remote interface uh, in java uh, you need to uh, create a remote interface by extending the uh, predefined remote class and uh, the package that gives the predefined remote class is um, java dot rmi so you need to um, import this class after, after that let's start our uh, class I will be giving this interface name as inter and will be extending the remote class now here I am creating a uh, method double add but I'm not starting this method or I'm not uh, assigning any body to this method because interface can only have an empty method call so let's start and let's save this as uh, inter dot java So you have created a remote interface. Now you need to implement the remote interface. Now let's create another uh, file and let's save it. Okay, wait. Import Java dot RMI dot asterisk. First, let's save it, giving the file name as implementation for implementation IMPL. Okay, now again you have to import java.rmi.server.asterisk for the implementation of the remote class. Now public class info extend unicast remote object this unicast remote object is the predefined object uh, let's say predefined class given by our uh, RMI and now let's implement the inter class or say inter interface sorry inter interface and create constructor now let's use uh, the method from the inter java
and define the body of this now let's save this as well now we have uh, implemented our inter in the remote interface as well now the third part it says is compile the implementation class and create a stock and skeleton object uh, let me do this point number three at last uh, for now let us skip this part and do number four uh, or oh, not number four let's go to number five remote application okay uh, remote application means it's a server right so uh, let's import Java RMI as well as uh, the Java RMI server okay let's save this as server dot Java and start its coding Now since the coding here in the server might generate the error, some exceptions, uh, let's write in the try block. This is how we are making the server a remote system. Now we need to bind this remote server using naming dot rebind sorry this ovg object is the object of the impl implementation class which implements the remote interface or say remote class okay uh, now uh, this remote server will be used by our client who is going to connect to this server so we are giving this remote server as a name for our server or the application which is a remote You need to cast the exception. Okay, this is the final of our server. Now let's again create our uh, client page. Since you do not need the your server, you can only import the Java RMI. Let's save it. Okay. Now we are creating another object for the inter class Sorry, I closed here. Now, what this code or this line says is the inter is a typecasting that we are 
are giving to this RMI that the client will be using and the naming lookup here uh, will uh, tell the program that it is searching for something in the RMI path where uh, in the RMI where the location is given by arc0 and the name of the server is the remote server okay now the ARG zero year will be consisting of uh, will uh, be keeping the IP address of the server that the client will be searching so the client will connect to the IP address that the AR0 will be carrying So the arg1 array will be uh, carrying our data that we'll be uh, putting in uh, our program. Since the value is double, we'll need to uh, grab the value as a double from the args1 array which is of double value why we're doing r1 value and why we're putting the value in r1 is that uh, we will be basically inputting this value from the command prompt itself so we're specifying this args1 array here let's copy it second number here the value is r2 here r2 d2 and finally the output now this part mm, as sum sum is obz dot add D1 comma D2. Uh, and uh, now let's close, try and catch the exception. and close respectively so this is the end of our coding now let's compile it Stop slash this is the location where we have saved our programs now let's compile each and every Java file that we have created in this to do that Java C space asterisk dot Java this will compile each and every Java program that we have stored in the folder computer world. Now, what you need to do next is from this part compile the implementation class and create a stub and skeleton object using. We have already compiled our class. Now, we need to what we need to do is create the skeleton and stub using RMIC for that follow the syntax as rmic i n t e r dot 
Java. What will this be doing? Is creating a stove and again RMIC impulse the Java. Okay, this will be creating the uh, stove and skeleton. Now let's start the RMIC tool for that start RMI registry this will be starting a RMI registry for our RMI application let's minimize this and let's open another uh, command prompt as well and let's go to the respective location that is mm -hmm. And uh, first, in this save command prompt where you have started the RMI registry, uh, run the server program Java server. And on the other uh, one, you have just opened run the client giving the host where to run it and the value why value because you have used the arg array so you will need to give the value from the command prompt so you will get the answer as this thank you this is the final part of our video hope you like the video if you have liked the video please do not forget to subscribe and share among your friends thank you